it's tough as a skateboarder, you know, who wants to make this uh, thing mm -hmm. a reality. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like I, it's hard. It's, it's not all. It's, it's not all hard. glitz and glamour. At the end of the day, you know, you have people that, and there's levels to this shit. You have to either work your ass off to get to a place like a, a Eric Costin or something. Some of those dudes, this is natural shit. So you know, when you are putting you know yourself on the on these and having these these desires like i want to do this and i want to make money from this it's like first of all just have a passion have the passion for skateboarding yep. and have the drive because people around you are going to see that and they're going to push you into that that realm of of of, of excellence mm. on your skateboard and that will translate into money you know yeah. what i'm saying mm -hmm. but it's not money could be the byproduct true of loving something yeah i when i was growing up skating i it was the furthest thing from my mind to get sponsored. I didn't even know that it was a thing or a reality. I mean, it's all around me. I would see everybody. I would see Costin and, and Tim Gavin, and I would see pros. But for myself, I didn't didn't even make sense. Wasn't yeah. even thinking about it mm -hmm. until it started to kind of present itself. And I was like, oh, well, this could be, yeah. I mean, Rodney Mullen asked me for a sponsor me video. I gave him one video, he asked me for another one. I'd never sent him another one. Wow. You know what I mean? Like it just wasn't in, I'm like, oh God, I gotta send him another video. I just sent him <laughs> one. Like, <laughs> come on, man. Like, so yeah. it just wasn't built in my brain to like go after this professionally. Yeah. It's just all the cards were just kind of like following, falling on the table. Yeah, some people will ride with them. Oh, like, Rodney wants another video. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, and they'll send that video. You know? They'd right. be making it in the For mud. sure. Yeah. You know? But look, everybody's different and everybody's, you know, obviously story is going to be told and seen a different way. And, you know. Dude, you know what's nuts is that I just thought about it. It's like when I was wanted to get sponsored, that wasn't, that wasn't what I wanted to do when I first started skating. Then I wanted to get sponsored. I did not even think about money. I just wanted to ride with my favorite skaters. Right. right. I just wanted to meet the guys I looked up to. And skate with them because it like they I thought it was the coolest thing. I never thought about making money. Mm -hmm. I got a paycheck. Like whoa, I got I'm getting three hundred dollars right, right. from Elwood. What the fuck? This is nuts. Yeah. And like that's when uh, and it never it never changed. I yeah. still didn't give give a shit about making money. Yeah. And there wish, had to have been a point in time where you're basing your lifestyle off of making money from skateboarding. So. If that all went away one day, you'd be back. Like yeah, there had I mean, to be one point where you're like, okay, well, I have to keep making money yes. to live yeah. in skate, like skating. For yeah, sure. I mean, but I didn't coordinate. Maybe it's something I look back on is coordinating the actual. This is where like Eric Costin and P Rod and all the professional skateboarders really thrive. Is how to actually use their talent to make money in skateboarding. When there's a time when you need to make a video part. Those dudes did it, and when they did it, they did it correctly. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They were asked to do a task, and they did it based off that. I was just like, whatever happens, happens. Mm -hmm. I'll go film all day, but if I don't land a trick, I don't care. Anyway, For sure. I, I'm just saying, when skaters, when they get big, it's because they, when like you get sponsored by Monster, they're like, hey, we need you to do this, 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 and they do it. Mm -hmm. When You don't just get sponsored because you're good. Ah, no, it's a part, it's a a part whole, of yeah, it. Yeah, there's a whole sure. boodle for sure. Like you yeah, have you, to, you, you got, get sponsored because you're good, but you keep your career and you maintain your paycheck by having determination and having the drive to complete those tasks. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. I, I, you have 1, to be talented, but you for have sure. to use that talent yeah. in a manner of like getting it done for mm -hmm. whatever it needs to be, whatever happens. And yeah. luckily, we're doing something that we love. So that helps too. Yeah. You but know? then as you, like, this to say, like, as you start to make money, and not knowing what to do with your money besides spend it, like you have to have some type of guidance. You know what I'm saying? And and I I had luckily that type of guidance to kind of help me navigate through fucking paying my bills and making sure that I could put a little bit away. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of kids out here that are making some money, they Most they ain't don't. doing nothing like that. It's interesting because like Mikey had that guidance. Yeah. Mikey Taylor he said sure. in the piece, right? I don't think I had that guidance. Maybe yeah. I had it from my parents, but you know what I mean? Like you're 16, 17, 18, who, you're not listening to your parents about saving money and doing that. You know, it's, that's just ridiculous, yeah. right? So, and I never had any guidance, you yeah. know? It was like, oh my God, I got to pay taxes. I got to do this. And my guidance was seeing my mom struggle and right. seeing how it was hard for her to pay the bills and fucking keep up with shit like that. So I was like, fucking, I'm saving my money. 
You know what I'm saying? And right. that's how I was able to, as a pro skateboarder, save up to buy a house fucking 18 years ago. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Wow, yeah. And I, I'm very thankful for skateboarding for that and having the discipline to do to to save. And I was still, don't get me wrong, I had a little, my little cars and shit, because that, that was one of my little passions, just like how Mikey had his little thing, you know. I had a, a what did I have? A little Lexus IS. Ooh. <laughs> bro, I thought I was the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was the 300. The 300? Yeah, the, I had 300, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, right I when that shit came out, <laughs> just psyched, you know what I'm saying? But again, I was disciplined in order to do that. And I was making a good amount of money that was efficient enough to do that and still save. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. So. A lot of kids don't have that guidance. I think that's one thing that that if you are making a, a substantial amount of money, you should definitely get some people that kind of help guide you on what you should be doing. With it. Yeah, yeah. Because and I think also skateboarding is so tiered out, you know, that like I could be making you know fifteen hundred dollars a month, and then somebody else could be making twenty five hundred dollars a month right. you know so it's like so tiered out even on the same company totally luckily some skaters have like a shoe thing they'll have a pro shoe or a colorway they'll have a b c d e yeah but it, i think it it's hard for skateboarders you know maybe even nowadays to like how do you how does one even like know your value almost? know your value yeah. but even like get paid decently there's there's skaters out there with a job no doubt. that are yeah, pro yeah, yeah. definitely you know I, like how are you saving money this way Right. Especially when you have another with, like, job what's to... going on in the world, like man, it's not che- rent's not cheap, mm. food ain't cheap, gas ain't cheap. It's hard, you know what I'm mm. saying? So yeah. f- based on what the salaries are that not salaries, but like the, <laughs> the pennies that are getting thrown out in skateboarding, it's it's good, it's going to be rough and it's going you're going to have to try to go get another job or work within the industry or the companies you work for to really solidify your place in this shit, you right. know what I'm saying? Right. It's like I had easy. a job when I was coming up in skating right. cuz I wasn't yeah, maybe you were am, you were getting paid, whatever, 500 bucks, but it still wasn't enough. Luckily, I had a good job where I could like kind of come and go as I please totally. and like show up at a certain time, and then bail, go skate, you know, so it was kind of a lenient I job. I remember you hear, hearing you, you had a job and I was like, damn, Chris got a job. That's, I mean, that's amazing, bro. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You because know, I, well, I was naive to the fact that I'm thinking everybody around me is like, you know, we're yeah. all doing... You know, we, that's what I was I'm skating. S- we skating. You know what I'm saying? This is what we do. But yeah. like, I would have friends that maybe I w- I knew what I made, but I had no idea what someone else made. But like, there's that's someone the crazy that's the crazy. But like, dude, LD had a shoe back then, and I was hanging out with LD a bunch back then. I'm like, LD's probably making a lot more than me. <laughs> 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 like, know, s- like straight up. Like, I wish I had someone like Mikey. Mm-hmm. I was making a lot of money. I got really nothing to show for it, but like I didn't know what to do with it. I yeah. was 19 years old, and I that shit happened for me fast. Like it was like one video part, then I'm getting like a shoe, then I'm getting another shoe, and I got boards, I got sh- I got clothes, I got this, I got that. I stopped skating for a clothing company that was like not paying me that much to like S, who gave me a line of clothes yeah. with my name on it. Like I fucking went from zero to 100 like dumb quick, yeah. and then I was just like, oh no. I'm going to buy Reynolds car. I'm going to buy a condo. I bought a condo, Mm -hmm. but like it never really like, you know, I've sold it for, I don't even think I made that much money off it. I don't know. It was just like, there was never someone in my ear going like, dude, here's what you got to do with this shit. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like if you had that shit, like early guidance in the sense of trying to be like, oh, asking your peers like, bro, like, what are you doing? Right. Like, are you, what? I I can't handle this shit right now. Like what, what should I do? Right. I had Tim Gavin, Tim Gavin always been there for me. He's Mm. been my fucking guy and still my guy. You know what Mm. I mean? And he's, he, he helped get me into that position to meet the person that I'm working with still to this day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. That, that was my savior in that sense of like trying to get help for that for sure and back then i didn't i never really hung out with any of my peers in the skateboard world besides going on tours which i went on a fuck ton of tours because it happened so fast just it happened so fast and yeah i just went on tour after tour after tour after tour after tour so when i'd come home i'd hang out with the homies and buy them everything yeah yeah. i like fuck take them out to dinner you can you're living at my house you're living at my house (laughs) you want need some money i got you like you know what i mean like i was like dude i'm getting this shit for fucking like feels like not doing anything we're all eating. Yeah, Every yeah. one of us is eating good. That didn't yeah. work out. And that well, <laughs> thing too is like, you know, we're, as skateboarders, we're independent contractors. You know, we, there's no 401k. There's no nothing. Mm-hmm. It's just like you are an independent contractor of that company, mm-hmm. you know? So 
your wages get taxed every year. You're lucky if you're on a quarterly payment system mm-hmm. with the with the tax man, you know. So mm-hmm. there's really nothing. And as as pros careers start getting longer and longer and longer and longer, now you're this 35, 40 year old guy that's still maybe affiliated with the company. You know what I mean? But there's no 401k. There's no nothing mm-hmm. where maybe as a normal out in the world guy, 35, 40, you're starting to getting into working for legitimate companies with dental and benefits mm-hmm. and insurance and 401ks oh, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. We get nothing yeah. like that. We're all for ourselves. So uh, uh, just a person, a kid trying to pay for insurance, that's like $300 a month, $400 a month. You got a dental, you got to pay, get a tooth extraction that's like you know four uh, $4,000, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then like, you have taxes gnarly. you have to pay. And then taxes upon that. And then you, if you're if you really are knowing, you try to save, but like none. But then it's gone. You got to pay it all back in taxes, yeah. and it's like literally like my career was like getting up here and then starting back from scratch. Yeah. Going, oh, I got to no, go back to scratch, and then I gotta do it. it's like I was on this vicious cycle yeah. of like, dude, I'm so, I got a little. Uh, Oh, I got to pay. I'm starting. I'm starting over again. Yeah, pretty it's much. just trying trying to find that discipline. And I know that you know when you're in the now with 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 the young, you know, being in, you want to go out and have fun with your boys. Like that shit is not cheap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you want to be totally. able to go live this life and, and have that little one month goes by very fast. And if you're living that life and going out every day and night and having fucking just paying for everything, that you ain't gonna have no money, and you ain't gonna be saving no money. So, you know. It, Chill and chill at the house sometimes. Don't, <laughs> don't go out. You know what I'm saying? Like, in, it's hard know. though. It's, I know it's hard. It's but, like LD. You know. He's probably going to Nobu with his friends. I got this, guys. You know what I'm saying? Because you, should, you Nobu, don't think that yeah. shit. Real talk. You should. You don't think that shit's going to end. Yeah. No, yeah. No, in the right? moment, like ah, we living, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Next thing you know, fucking three, four, five years, ten years later. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know what, dog? This, this, can, this might not even be the uh, a skateboarder's fault either. There was a big thing back in the day where every shoe company out, we're talking like skater-owned shoe companies, the, uh, PacSun. PacSun was a big, you know, they were like that. They, there was uh, all the shoe companies bread and butter. Mm-hmm. Pac- it, was a big account. Account. it was a big account. It was for, a big account for yeah. everybody. And one day PacSun was like, okay, you know what? We're not going to sell shoes anymore. Pulled everybody. I mean, now that company is having to dock pay and do this and do that because now they're banking on one they company. Have to adjust. Like it was a big stir up. I remember back that. Then. Yeah. It was huge, you know, oh, and that yeah. affected the skateboarder who thought it wouldn't ever end, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So it's not only that skater; it's a company, and it's different. It's a trickle effect. Like it's no a trickle, other. totally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Mm. I don't. Know, I this this piece was great. Uh, I think. When you're a skateboarder, you're not making much money and you're not thinking about the future, right? You're, you're not. I mean, Mikey was making a decent amount of money where he could at least live off the little bit and save and invest. Right. But when when we're skating, we're not even, we never taught about taxes, taught about where to put our money. We just wanted to spend it because you made it off something you love. So like, I don't know, as long as you're doing what you love, you almost didn't care about the, not that I didn't yeah. care about money, but it was just like, I just want to go skate every day. For sure. And, there, For and sure. there's a lot of stories, like the ones that are like, yeah, I, people, my parents were bummed at first. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it was like, you're almost like, for me, I, they, they weren't bummed, but like, it was definitely like a, I kind of like, I I knew it. I never knew I was going to be pro, but it was just like, I loved it yeah. and I'm going to do this. And then all of a sudden it started paying me a lot of money. Yeah. So I was like. Told you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. That's but, you know. You're yeah. I mean, you hear about people too that like made a lot of money in skating, and then they made a, have a lot of taxes to pay, mm-hmm. and then they're again, not again, they're not here. It goes it goes, <laughs> it goes with saving. Like, not, you, you can't just right. think you can make all this money and then think like you ain't gonna be responsible for that shit. Yeah. There's taxes, my guys. Mm-hmm. You have to, especially if you're getting paid big lump sums. Oh yeah, bro. Get on some type of monthly, not quarterly, monthly type of situation where you're paying your shit like yeah, you know so what I'm you saying? don't, so you can get rid of it. Yeah, you yeah. don't want that. You don't want to see at the end of the year that oh, I owe forty grand. Yeah, what, fuck, where, what am I gonna do? You know what I mean? Like, and like he said, Mikey Taylor said in the piece is like, dude, they don't teach you shit about money in school. They don't no, teach you shit. Right. No, yeah. Nothing. There's yeah. no money management. No. They don't teach you how to write a check. Nothing. 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 I still know what the powerhouse of a cell is. And then what is that going to do for me? It, 
No doubt. Nothing. No it's doubt. It's crazy. Fucking mitochondria. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, you know, it's just, it's cool to think about. And I, I like when pieces like a Mikey Taylor piece comes out, you it's know? Dope. And like, you know, people, oh, Mikey Taylor is about money and just blah, blah, like whatever. We read the comments, you know what I mean? And it's like, I think that's whack because like, yo, just open up your ears, man. And like, listen to what he's saying. Straight you know? He's it's trying like, to teach you something. Yeah, he's trying to yeah. teach you something. And like, you know, you may not want to hear it. You may think that like, oh, he just has a lot of money. So it's, he's actually like speaking some truth that you could really gain some education <laughs> by listening to what he's saying and like use it in your own life. Straight up. Yeah. Dude. And that's what, that's what I'm like, dude, Mikey Taylor's on our show and we, you know, you see the comment, dude, Mikey Taylor's, I'm like, just shut up. Yeah. Just <laughs> shut the fuck that's up. Some listen to the, shit. That's listen, that I know, is. but it's like, listen to the guy talk. Like mm -hmm. he's actually trying to teach you something totally. that you're just closed off like small minded and you don't want to listen and, and it's he, like dude he, this can really benefit you bro straight up and he should you should listen to him to some degree because he's a he's you he's a skateboarder yeah he's not like he's not just dude. some random dude like fucking business bank fucking guy telling you this shit this is someone that you should already be relating with because he's a skateboarder right and he you did it he, he made a career off of it yeah he had shoes he he was pro. He done it. He did he's it. Done it. He's done it all. He's done it all, dude. The dopest so. thing about Mikey though is like he's been getting that ridicule his whole career, right? Totally. Because he was down with the barracks. He was down with certain people that weren't looked at as whatever you want to call it. So he's been getting that same shit from yeah. I wouldn't say day one, but like at least since I've known him, like he's yeah. been that dude who's kind of always had that like weird like criticism coming towards him. Totally. So but now he's that he's ventured into something else, he's <laughs> he's still getting that, but he has, I feel, developed a tough enough skin to like just keep going. And you see through his TikTok videos and stuff that he's putting out, like he's still spitting truth. Whether you want to receive it or not, exactly. that's on you. Exactly. Yeah, I think nice. money is just a weird thing. But it shouldn't be. I know. Yeah. But it's just weird. You no, know, when like sure. people start talking about money and this and that, like people get weird. They get turned off. They get like they 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 shut their ears off and like they want to just, you know, criticize or do because this. Because there's or levels do that. to this shit. Like, At the yeah. end of the day, if you if you're a dude with money and you're talking about money and the dude that you're talking to ain't got no money, yeah. like it's one of those things that if he's gonna receive it, like he's gotta like see you and be like, Okay, let me see where he's coming right. from. Like right. not right. be like right. just some arrogant ass motherfucker with money. Like he's actually like trying to teach me something and some people just don't see that sometimes well you're gonna take the especially Go when ahead. you don't have no money i was gonna say are you gonna take the advice of somebody who's dead exactly. broke i would or not, you gonna, exactly. i would not be yeah. taking no f advice from nobody Fuck with no, no. fucking money why did, why would <laughs> yeah, that that makes exactly. no fucking sense. I, I didn't i would hear advice but i would be like i don't i don't get what you're talking about because i didn't have any money so i was like i don't understand what you're trying to tell me like i don't understand how this like whatever then you make money you're like oh oh that's what you could do with that. Well, yeah, people right. can only meet yeah. you as deeply as they met themselves. So if you ain't got no bread and you don't know how to invest what you have, then, yeah, it's going to be a little tricky yeah, to actually yeah. receive that information and take it in. But it's like one of those things, like, yeah, the blind can't lead the blind. Mm -mm. I'm not going to take criticism from somebody who's not doing better than me, just like I'm not going to take money advice from somebody who ain't got more than me. Mm -hmm. So I think it is up to you, like you said, to for you to take that in and be like, okay, let me at least try and get some of these gems that you're dropping right now and figure out how I can utilize that in my life currently to then get to the next level. And then it's just compounding on that. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that somebody that don't got no money and can't have insight on whatever, not about getting money, but insightful about trying to be positive about getting money and you ain't got it. Like, I'll take, I'll hear you. I'll listen to you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But as far as advice on trying to really yeah, get yeah, some exactly. bread, like, no. But there's only so much I get here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He would po he posts something about like credit score stuff about how you could like, get your credit score higher, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh shit, this is like like bro, credit score hacks are the shit. Yeah, Straight like when up. you could think yeah. about like it's like what do you say, ten percent of uh, your credit? I forget what his name of, of it's called. Like whatever your credit limit is, you use ten percent of that every month or less than ten percent. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. you're good. Yep. And, and you, pay, you use it and then you pay it all off because then that's going to, yeah. yeah. I was telling you, I was like, if you want to get some extra points on your credit score, pay fucking two or three times a month to that one mm -hmm. fucking bill. Like if you're going to pay, reports. if you were going to pay fucking $500 that month, pay fucking 150, pay 150, pay fucking uh, 300 mm -hmm. or whatever. Like three uh, days before it's even due exactly. for the last payment. On, yeah. And your shit will slowly yep. start to trickle up. In three months, you'll see that shit trickle up. Hell you know, I'm, dead, yeah. I'm dead ass serious. There. There's, yep. there's that app called, uh, man, what is it called? Uh, C Credit Karma? Yeah, yeah that's I use that all the time. Like the yeah, and it was like, I'm like, you could see your credit doing its thing oh, yeah. if yeah. you really follow these things. And it's so, um, I know as a, as a young skateboarder, I would have heard this conversation and be like, you guys are insane. 
Like, what the hell are you guys I talking mean, people about? People in the comments right now are probably like, yeah. They're like, yeah, we're here well, for bro, off. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's probably going nuts right now. Well, first of all, shout out Ryan Cooley. He said he donated 100 bucks. and says, just contributing to my 4019. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, I mean, like I said, like, when you start talking about money, it's just weird. Like, people just start commenting the weirdest shit. Yeah, it's you know, it's, it's like, okay. fuck, can we stop? Blah, blah, blah. Nine Club's just dissing poor people. It's like, no. <laughs> Dude, Dude. Like, no, we all come from this, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That's I a mean, thing. especially all of us here, like, I know that we don't come from, like, fucking crazy money. No. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we understand the degree of, of what is being poor and what is middle class and what is fucking rich. But you know what, what, what Mikey's trying to say is that he skated for so long and almost at the end he didn't know what the fuck to do. Yeah. You know well, what I mean? Like, I think this is yeah. where this conversation is is stemming from. You yeah. know, it's like us as kids that we skate, you know, we it, it, we we build a career, we get paid. It may be a lot of money or it may be peanuts. You know what I mean? We're all different skateboarders and you go through your life, you get older and older and older. Yeah, you, you can't live with, you know, five buddies in a in in a house anymore. You know what I mean? Like you start you need to grow up eventually and start living a life totally. and it's hard to do that through skateboarding for some people like yeah. i said like i was check to check i'm like going on this revolving door you know what i mean like if i had a friend like mikey taylor back in the day i could have rerouted my situation right. you know what i'm saying we were just having a conversation before the show and <laughs> it was just like dude the nine club guys must be so rich <laughs> they're they're just they're just bawling out of control and it's like dude we <laughs> We're far from rich, yeah, yeah. dude. I'll show we, anyone my checking account right like, now. Raj will pull that shit up right now. Uh, you, got, you only have two hundred dollars right now. Ra like we are, we are bootstrapped, and like we don't, we we still live check to check. You know what I mean? So, but you know why? Not not why. I mean, whatever. But we love doing this shit. It's not oh, like man. we're here to fucking. No Yo, man. No, we're that's get a, that that's... check, dog. You think we? <laughs> <laughs> it's been six years. We said we love skateboarding and talking about it. This is just an insane thing that we're, that this happened. Yeah, with that's this. Come this, to this, this is pretty fucking awesome. This but, is just a yeah. bunch of skaters getting together. We had a, a videographer named Roger, a skateboarder named Chris, and we wanted to do a fucking show. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and so I think we're getting off track here. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah but we're, we're not rich <laughs> by, <laughs> by any means, bro. Okay, like we, as long as we're comfortable, then I, I'm good with that. But we do this out of the love. You know, it's a skateboarding. We want to celebrate it. We want to have talk to people about skateboarding Definitely. and talk to about skateboarding. So, but I think we just gotta. You know, it's it's. it's I think talking about money is like important. You know. Cause like we go, we do go through this path and as skateboarders, we grow up and then we get to a certain age where we can't be professional skateboarders anymore. Mm. We have to now figure out when we're old, 40 years old plus the next stage, what are we doing now? Yeah. All I know is skateboarding. Yeah. It's like, cool. Am I going to live? Am I going to work the rest of my life as a warehouse manager at a skate company? Am I going to do like, it's scary, dude, you know? And I think that this whole conversation just stems from like, hey, if you're a young skateboarder out there, try to be smart with it. Yeah. yeah. Try to save some money. Let's try to, you know, you don't have to be a Mikey Taylor. You don't have to go invest, but let's just be smart, you know, because this is not going to last forever. At least be aware of it, right? Exactly. It, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let the good times roll. But I'm stuck. We have pocket like peers, a little I'm, bit. Like peers like this, like Mikey Taylor, real talk, because like, who else are we going to look to that, again, coming from skateboarding? You know what I'm saying? I mean, we have a lot of people that we can look to in that sense now that obviously have made it and, you know, are very successful. You know, but Mikey, I mean, look, he's the exception to the rule. He fucking did it, bro. Good for him. I know. I, just, I love it, bro. I love it personally because it inspires me. Totally. You know what I mean? It's like, cool, me man. Well. We have this show. Like, we could do so. I mean, we try so hard. It's like, this is skateboarding. It's fucking hard to earn a dollar. Mm -hmm. You know, let's be honest. If we're a podcast, if you're a skateboarder, if you're a fucking team manager, like, whatever it is, it's it's a difficult thing. But, I, you know, it's going through and reading some of these comments and stuff. I'm like, I wish some people would just stop being key keyboard warriors and, like, jump on Discord and, like, call us and talk to us. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Like, yeah. let's... Nah, because then they get Chris rocked. That's why, that's, that's why I motherfuckers stay behind. But you know keyboard. what I mean, though? Like, yo, keyboard war. Like, dude, jump on. Our Discord's open. Come if you want to call. Come on over to the Discord. We'd love, I'd love to take they your call. They don't want that smoke. Exactly. You know what's crazy, too, is I wonder if, like, like 
are Matt Miller and Tim Gavin getting ridiculed for selling houses? Like, if you're a skater, would you, you oh, fuck, I'm not going to buy a... Richard fucking, Mulder. Richard Mulder. I'm not going to buy a house from this skater. Nah, man, no, man. Just... No, then why would you say that about Mikey trying to fucking help you out with your money? Same shit. It's straight up. Nah, from yeah. skate to real estate, all you skateboarders, <laughs> straight up, real estate, it's hard. run it. Keep done, keep doing that shit. There's a lot of people in real, and they like to work, for skateboarders, they want to work for themselves. Mm -hmm. They've right. already been working for themselves, so this is the reason why you're seeing that transition like that. It's understandable. I would be hyped you know? to buy a house from them. Fuck Straight yeah. up. Real estate's one of those things, you get out of it what you put into it. Like, yep. right. So it's the same thing as skateboarding. Yep. It's the same thing as what Mikey's doing. Yep. yep. Yeah. And I think I'd rather like listen to. It's so funny because this isn't totally different. But like when Andrew Huberman was, was on the show, right? And it's like he's talking to us about health and fitness and mind and and everything, you know. And I'm like in. Th I'm like listening. Not that I wouldn't listen from another guy, but he's of the same ilk. Yeah. Totally. And I can understand where he's coming from, and he breaks it down to maybe something that I can understand. Right. And he's speaking my language. He's, he's, he's talking about skating the EMB and doing yeah. all this shit. And I'm like, yeah. it makes fuck it easy. yeah. It makes let's... it easy for me to understand that yeah. and understand you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, let's talk about the brain. How does fucking this shit work? <laughs> right. Like, right. I'm, yeah. let's go. Like, I'm, I want to hear from you because you're a skateboarder. Yeah, you know, no. it's the same ilk, man. Definitely. I agree. Anyway. And a good conversation, fellas. Oh, yeah. Shit. I mean, dude, money talk never really happens in skateboarding. Mm-mm. That he met, Mikey mentioned that in that yeah. thing. He's never, like, I never talked about any money with I, anybody. I didn't care. I mean, I I still don't really ask anyone what's going on with that. It's not really whatever. It's not the go-to question. It's not to the go-to <laughs> question unless, unless you're Chris on the uh, talking to like Andrew Reynolds. Hey, how much do you make? Fucking. I just think it's a funny question to yeah. ask because nobody <laughs> asks it. Of course. No, and there's then, some people that are very rare that will be like, yeah, you know, and tell you. Andrew Reynolds was the first guy because I would always joke. Yeah. I'd always be like, so how much did you make? You know, and they're always like, <laughs> Andrew Reynolds. Oh, he was like oh, 160 grand or something like that. Okay. I was like, you. whoa. Why? Man. Why do people get weirded out with stuff like that? Because you don't want to be put. No, no, looked no. At a different way. Not, not, not the person saying it. But why do people wanna judge know? something about that person when they hear it? Does that make sense? It's like winning the lottery. You're like, all your homies come out of the woodwork. Like, yo, what up? But like. Well, yeah, uh, I could see that. I, but I mean, they can already see your lifestyle, how you living. You know what I'm right. saying? So you kind of can dictate like that. If, you, if if a motherfucker got a fucking two million dollar home and a fucking, you know what I'm saying? Right. Or a five hundred thousand dollar, you could kind of gauge on what the motherfucker is making. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. I don't know. Unless you're just again, you saving your fucking money, and nobody can tell what you're making because you're living like shanty. You know what I mean? You're not Ooh. even like living like I, dude, I. I I heard a funny story. I don't want to say who it is, but uh, we all know this person, an awesome guy. And be like, yeah, that dude's living in his car. I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, doesn't that dude make like a lot of money? He's like, yeah, he's just saving up, living in his car. I was yeah. like, yeah. wow. That's like, you know what I mean? Like, that's how, like. And that's true discipline. Yeah, right true discipline, like the desire, like his, like what he wants to do. Yeah. I don't know. I just thought that was crazy. Most people would have been like, cool, I'll get a little apartment and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he was just stacking. <laughs> like, I'm going to save my damn money. Man, I was love like, it. ride that fucking wave, bro. Yeah. Well, listen, guys, I got to get home and get my booty shorts on <laughs> and let the ass cheeks just hang out. You know what I'm saying? So we do have a raffle, but I think I, li I like these conversations, even though some keyboard warriors in our chat doesn't like it. Oh, I, good. Wait, let me see. Wait, no. Wait, how many, how many of No, nobody. In, they didn't jump in the Discord to talk to us. Man, that's a shame. So we're open. Well, we'll talk, dude. Yeah. You got a problem? Hold up. You fucking, you know, scared. You can have a little conversation. I think skaters, just sometimes they just want to hear skateboarding. You know, yeah. and it's like, dude, it's a little bit more. This to coincides. Life, with, this you know? coincides with the skateboard life. You For know sure. what I mean? As you progress in your your career down this road and, yeah. and you're gonna want to know about these things and rather just just get this money and be well it, it depends on who you're fucking talking to at the end of the day i think it's a learning process and who, if you pay attention great if you don't it was meant to be that way yeah i think like a lot of people you know and, and listen again we're privileged to have be in this you know yeah, industry and sure. stuff like that so i think a lot of people aren't Right. You know, they're just skateboarders. Right. You know, they don't care about us talking about making money. Right. You know what I mean? From skateboarding. From skateboarding, right. Yeah. And how to manage it and juggle it and stuff yeah. like that. But I think it's an interesting topic. I think it transcends skateboarding into just real life. Definitely. And if you're working a job yep. that's a minimum wage job or 
job that pays pretty well. You know, it's like it, I, I think it's all yeah. transcends. I mean, it's all relative. Yeah. I mean, sure. if people thought we got into this business because we wanted to make money, that is fucking so far mm -hmm. gone from why we. St I started skateboarding because I just fell in love with that thing and nothing else mattered. And I let that take the way. And then that shit, it comes across. Yes. It comes up and you just have to learn to deal with it. And then you realize, wow, do I either go do something I don't want to do for a living or I do something I do want to do for a living? Right. And that's when you choose that option. It's like, all right, I want to try to do this. I want, And that's a, hard, that's a really hard thing to do when you put the trying to do it with what you love. Yeah. That's a hard thing. I'll just say that personally. No so, doubt. anyways, um, different roads and paths for everybody. Yeah. Uh, Where is that like button? Right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's it's subscribe over to yeah. It's on your it's on my left. Right. It's no, on, my on left. your left. Hey, yeah. Hit right that there. button right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, please. The, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of. Like oh, it's there. like right here. Kind of. Like yeah, right there. The subscribes like over to the left. <laughs> it's like right over there. All right.